Good morning guys. This is going to be a one take video. I'm sorry that we have been absent for the last few days. Life has been just tragically not the way I wanted it to go. Everyone has been very, very sick and I have a brief moment of time that I can go ahead and film. So I'm like, well, I need to hold up my end of the deal because I've already missed a few days of vlogmas. So today is, I don't know what day it is. The 13th, I think, um, which should be the day that this video is going up. Um, so we decided that we were going to go ahead and do Vlogmas and share some archive footage, but some stuff has come up, um, and that archive footage I'm hoping will go up, but I think it's going to be probably a few months before it's okay to share it. Um, I know that sounds so vague and is so frustrating. Hopefully once I post it, it will make sense, but I don't know if that footage is going to go up. So that leaves us without content. Um, and then everyone has been really, really sick for the last few days. Ken took the day off on Monday, I think it was, or Tuesday. I can't remember which one. I think it was Monday. Uh, Ken took the day off because he was not feeling well. And then, um, both the girls got sick. Hold on one sec. Okay, it's gonna be more like a two take. Anyways, people got sick, and then the whole family got sick. Irene was just miserable. It was so bad. It's so hard when your baby gets sick because they just, there's nothing you can do. There's no medication I can give her. She's just been like coughing hopelessly. And I finally got her down for a nap. Um, we'll see how long it lasts, because the last few days she's just been coughing herself awake from her naps. Um, I feel okay today. I've been feeling a little bit sick too, but I think out of everyone, I feel the best. So that's a surprise because I have a really bad immune system and I frequently get sick. Um, but Rosalind's just been coughing a ton. And then on top of it, Ken's car is broken. Um, and it's going to cost a lot more to fix than we had originally thought. And not only that, it's going to take more time to fix than we had originally thought. So for those reasons, he has had the car for the last few days. So we've kind of just been home, laying around, watching Octonauts, not wanting to get up and get dressed and get ready for the day. Um, so I felt like I didn't have anything to film, but I said we would do Vlogmas. So now here we are. Anyways, we're doing dress number two. I'm wearing this uh, sweater dress, which is kind of hard to show you guys. Um, I'm wearing, and it's, I'm sitting, so it's hard to see, but I'm wearing this sweater dress and um, leggings and that kind of thing. So we're wearing dresses for the entire month of, dress of December in order to help raise money to end human trafficking. My goal is $800 and so far at last check I'd only raised 146 So I'm really hoping that we reach that goal. Um, 146 is a really big deal so thank you everyone who has donated so far. Um, I'll link it down below but basically uh, the Dress Sember Foundation raises money through International Justice Mission to help bring people out of sex trafficking and end it. So that's a big deal and it's really exciting. I'm super excited about it. Um, however, I'm not going to lie, I'm already over wearing dresses. We've done it for the last three years, four years, something like that. And it's tricky because I don't have a lot of clothes anyways because we do capsule wardrobes. And then on top of it, um, it's really hard to find dresses that you can nurse in easily. And I am still breastfeeding. Not very much. Irene doesn't nurse that often, but she is still nursing. So like this dress, for example, has this zipper on the side, right? And I can nurse, I can nurse on this side because it's stretchy enough, but I can't nurse on this side because the, it's, anyway, um, so I'm definitely like re-wearing the same dresses over and over again and I'm I'm a little ready to be done with Dress Ember. But it has been really hot this year, which has been really nice because sometimes Dress Ember you get super uncomfortable um, because it can be really cold. But since we live in Arizona, um, it is one of the benefits of living here is that it, it doesn't get too cold in the winter time. Which is also good because we haven't even had to turn our heater on in the house yet. We're still running our air conditioning. And it's not like crazy hot, but it's just been nice. So I think December in Arizona is one of the best times of the year. 
other than that, some other exciting things that have happened. My birthday is this Saturday. So Saturday, I think it's the 16th. And you guys, I am turning 29 years old. I, so we had my party. Actually, I had two parties. We uh, went over to Ken's uh, sister's house this weekend. And then we went to my parents' house this weekend. Um, and just kind of, you know, hung out and ate cake and dinner and just spent time with family, which was wonderful. Um, but my grandpa was over at our house and he goes, he started singing a song about being 29. And I was like, oh my gosh, I realized it was my birthday, but I didn't realize that I'm turning 29. Um, that just seems crazy to me. So as my dad pointed out, this year will be my first 29th birthday um, on the 16th coming up here. And I'm really excited because Ken planned a surprise for me, but he kind of had to tell me what it was in order for um, in order for us to plan accordingly, if that makes sense. So um, on Saturday, Ken and I are going to have a very special date. And my parents are watching the kids overnight again which um, until Halloween they had never done, ever. And I guess it went okay. They did Halloween. Um, we went to, uh, that was our first overnight, and we went to California, which is crazy. This is how hot it is, you guys. My camera is telling me that, that I have a temperature problem here. Anyways, we went to California for our first overnight, which was um, fun, but also kind of scary because it was like, if anything goes wrong, we can't just like swing over. But it went okay. And so since it went okay, Ken made plans for this Saturday. I don't know what we're going to do. We might just go on a date and still hang out at home, or we might go on a road trip or something um, for my birthday, which I'm really excited about. And then I got some really exciting things um, from the fish tank. In fact, I just filmed a video for the fish fish channel because some people specifically asked for it. Um, all about the saltwater tank because I've had a huge crisis in my fish tanks this last week that has consumed a massive amount of my time. But I was really surprised and just like blown away. My mom got me this really nice protein skimmer, uh, which is just a, a really nice piece of equipment for my saltwater tank. And we got some other uh, really nice pieces of equipment for the saltwater tank uh, that came in. And I got some gift cards um, for fish or other things. So I'm hoping to get some new stuff to add to the tank, especially now that we've had this uh, crisis over there. I've lost half, half, I lost half my fish, which is really frustrating. Um, but now here we are. Um, if you want to know more about that, go over to the fish channel. I don't know when that video is going to go up, but I talk about it anyways. Um, and I've just kind of been putting out fires with that, but now we're finally in like the safe zone and things are looking good and progress is happening. And I'm just really, really excited. And I'm really excited for Christmas this year. It's going to be our first Christmas in our own house, like ours, truly ours, which is just wonderful. Thanksgiving was really good. We hosted, which was really nice. And this house isn't huge. The house that we were living in before was honestly much larger than we needed. Um, unless we had like many more kids, I wouldn't want to live in that, that house. It was too much maintenance. This house is perfect for us, at least for the size of our family right now. With um, We've got two bedrooms and a den, but the den is also basically a bedroom. It's about 1,200 square feet and it's just, it's just like this perfect, perfect neighbors and perfect little gated community. And, um, it just is perfect for us. And I just love it. And, um, now that we've got our own space, we can do things like host. So we hosted Thanksgiving this year and we'll be hosting Thanksgiving or we'll be hosting Christmas this year too. And I'm just really excited, uh, for what that's going to be like. Cause Irene is just at this adorable age where she understands every single thing you tell her. Um, and she's speaking a lot, uh, a lot more than Roslyn was at this age. Roslyn was just barely starting to be able to hear properly at this age. And then of course, Roslyn's tongue tie wasn't released. So Roslyn had quite a delay at this age. And I'm just amazed at how much more, um, 
vocal Irene is, but she's so cute because everything she says is just little whispers. And then, of course, Rosalind is at just that magical age where Christmas is just magic. So this year is going to be awesome. I'm super excited. We decorated the tree on Adelaide's birthday, um, and I don't know. It's just so nice to feel like this is our home, you know? This is how hot it is, you guys. My camera, it's halfway through December, and my camera just turned off because of the temperature. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, anyways, I forgot what I was saying before the camera just pieced out. I'm just really excited to be in this home and just feel like this sense of belonging and that kind of thing. And I'm really looking forward to my birthday this year um, and Christmas overall. I was just really surprised and overwhelmed at how nice it was to get the things for the fish tank for my birthday and the gift cards um and I got a little bit of Christmas money too that if Ken and I go down to Tucson which we might do on Saturday for my birthday um, my friend Rob has a saltwater fish store down there and I might pick up some fish from him. Um, so he's he's a good friend of mine and, and we went to high school together. And so it's just really cool, like it kind of came full circle. Um, he owns a fish store down there called um, AZ Shark Reef. And last time I was in Tucson, I kind of swung in and took a look around and didn't really buy anything because I wasn't really ready to stock anything at that time. But now that I have lost some fish and I have some fish money, um, I'm thinking I might pick up some from him, which I'm just really excited about. So that's just, I'm just, it's exciting when people get you stuff that you're genuinely excited about. And I know that people on this channel get sick of hearing about fish. I know that it's like, okay, Heidi. Um, but it's the first time in a really long time I've had a hobby um, that, I mean, everyone enjoys it. The whole family likes looking at the tanks or whatever, but that I truly enjoy. I feel like I'm learning and growing and um, it's just very relaxing and peaceful. And it's, it's hard sometimes when you're a stay-at-home parent um, to have, sometimes you just feel like you've lost a little bit of your identity, if that makes sense. Like so much of your identity is wrapped up in parenting or just not interacting with other adults very much that um, having something that is your genuine interest for you is just really cool and so I, I didn't think that anyone would get me fish stuff and they did and I'm just excited I'm excited to set it all up I'm excited to get some more little fishy friends anyways I'm gonna go ahead and end this video because I don't know what it has been but subscribe so you don't miss my birthday on Saturday I'd love if you guys could donate to December it will be linked down below and hopefully everyone will be feeling better and we'll be back to daily vlogging thanks for watching Bye, guys.